Hi, I'm Nick. I'm from Dome Motorcycles. I'm here with Ed, our Halverson's expert. We're here to talk about a brand new jacket for us here, which is the Mora jacket. So the Mora jacket, Ed, um, tell us a little bit more about it. It's obviously new to me as well. Yes, yeah, so the Mora jacket's the top of the range in terms of our price points. Uh, this is our sort of adventure touring style jackets. This is something you're going to be using if you're going to sort of hotter countries or you want something that works a bit better in summer. It's obviously, obviously waterproof as well. So we'll go through that in a minute. But yeah, this is the top of the range from Halvarsons. Uh, it's a really exciting jacket because um, ABR magazine, it was their favorite jacket of the year last year. So it's a really high end, high quality piece of kit, extremely comfortable. So yeah, I can go through a few of the features if you like. Yeah, yeah, please. So there's something, just so you know, so we've bought this jacket in. It's something we've been asked for um, for as dog motorcycles, uh, it's basically a jacket that's just been bigger demand. So we've, we're basically trying to please the customers, bring something in, you get something a little bit different. Ed's going to go through what it is. Like I say, it is new to me as well. Uh, though I'm familiar with Halverson, sold it for quite a long time, but the just the whole removal membrane yeah, so, difference really, isn't so it? As, as you know, if you, totally if, different. If you're going to be doing sort of a touring riding, adventure riding, yeah. hot weather riding, the best thing to do is to be able to remove the membrane. The reason for that is it means you're going to get airflow straight through the jacket, lots of ventilation, and the breathability is going to be in, increased immeasurably. So you're much, much cooler, much more comfortable in those hot weathers. So the Mora jacket is a two layer. So you've got the exterior, which is your safety piece, okay. and what you're going to wear in your hot weathers. And then you've got the interior, which is your waterproof lining with an outlast as well, which we'll go through a little bit later. So that's how the Mora is going to work in those sort of conditions in this beautiful green color. Also comes in a blue. Yep. And this year, new for this year, it's going to come in the black. The green is by far the most popular color people love. That sort of subtle look, but it's got a few pops of color in it as well. So let's talk about the exterior of the uh, jacket. So start with maybe the shoulders. Yep. So if, if we talk about the exterior, you've got obviously at the top, very top, you've got your storm okay. collar. So that's okay. the first thing. That's obviously fully removable if you don't want to wear it in yeah, summer yeah. conditions. Yeah. So it's waterproof, fully removable. You want to wear that instead of a neck buff or, um, sorry, a neck snood because then the water's gonna come down, run down and off instead of down and in, whip into your t-shirt. So that's gonna keep you dry. Obviously fully removable so that in the summer you get more airflow, more breathability, all mm -hmm. those sort of things. Okay. If you come around the top, you can see we've got dual adjusters on the neck. So you've got a Velcro piece here, then you've got adjuster around the side as well. So you can get that neck nice and comfortable. Again, you can open it up a bit more in the summer, tie it up a bit more in the winter so you can keep yourself nice and comfortable and get it in exactly the right spot. If we start, go down to the shoulders, as you say, we've got leather paddles here. So this is really an aesthetic thing, but it does give you another layer of protection. It is real leather, so it is going to give you that next layer you of protection. You do have to touch Sorry? that. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's a nice suede sort of thing, <laughs> nice and soft as everything. Yeah. Running down the arm, you've got the reflectors. And then if you come down to your sort of bicep area on both sides, you've got this wine wire system. So that gives you the ultimate adjustment in that area. So you can cinch right. the arms in, pull the armor in so it's nice and comfortable. Just turn it and it just pulls the wires okay. in, cinches it in nicely, and then you just pop it to undo it. So it's pretty simple. So that you can almost tailor that fit literally perfectly to a T with, with that ink on yeah, you. So it's all about one popper adjustment. Yeah, it's all can. about being comfortable so that you can concentrate on the ride, not concentrate yeah. on the fact your jacket's pinching an area or not quite fitting correctly. So keeping you not that el elbow armor in place. Running down the arm again, you've got adjusts, obviously standard adjusts on yeah. the bottom just to pull it in as well on the Velcro down the bottom. While we're on adjustment, on the hip area, you can see you've got these runner rails for the, uh, for the waist cinching parts here. So that means you can get it exactly on your waist for this specific person. So it's a fully customizable adjustment on the side there as well. So you can see with the neck, the arms, and the hip, and the uh, waist area, you're getting the exact adjustment you need from this product. One of the things the guys at ABR really like is the amount of adjustment in this jacket to make sure it's exactly as you want to be for the customer. If you come around to the front, you can see you've got Velcro closure down the front as well. And then you've got these orange zips down the front here. So. Because it's a removable membrane jacket, it's really important to get the ventilation right. So these are both ventilation points. You've also got an open back system on the back. So the back's always open, always going to allow airflow out the back. If you look at these two points here, this one here is the main vent. And then you've got another vent just here. So if I pop that pocket open, you can see there's a vent point here. So you're going to get dual airflow in. That one's also a pocket if you want to use it as a pocket as well. So it just increases the storage capacity. So you're going from two extremes. So you could be 30 degree heat. Yep bang open all those vents, move exactly. that one big membrane out, and then you've got something out as, as, as lightweight as you can basically exactly. so, for a waterproof so jacket. Yeah, if you're gonna be going from the UK, cool yeah. to say, down to the south of France, then you're gonna be able to ride with the membrane in early in the morning, it's gonna stop the wind coming, stop the water coming. When you get down to the south of France, take that membrane out, open up all the ventilation points, allow the airflow through. So it's just gonna keep you perfect for all those weathers. 
One thing just to mention, there's no thermal ability in this jacket, there's no thermal liner, so you might want to look at getting a mid layer as well underneath and a couple of base layers. If you're going when it's really cold, you might want to get some extra thermal or a heated vest if you want to get one of those, that's an option underneath as well. So run down to the bottom of the pockets here, you've got two patch pockets, again increasing the amount of storage on the front of the jacket and on the back, there's a pocket I believe as well, so you've got a pocket on the back as well. So you've got three pockets so you can put more equipment in. So pretty simple on the outside, double A rated, C approval wise. So that's that um, 600 denier on the exterior to give you a double A rating. So it's nice and safe and functional and comfortable. So people, for the people at home that don't know um, about the double A, what does that actually mean? So you've got double A standard. Yeah. Um, which is obviously to do with the abrasion, abrasion resistance. Well, it's to do with sort of a, a host of different features. Uh, maybe we could do another video on yeah. how all the standards were would be good for the future. But um, essentially you've got, for armoured products, you've got three different standards. You've got A, double A and triple A. A is uh, more city riding, so, so slow speed stuff. Double A, more touring, commuting, sort of a harder level of riding. Then you've got triple A, which is almost a race standard. So that's really for the top end race suit type products as well. So double A is where you're at for textile. If you're a high end user that's riding a nice, high expensive touring bike, double A is where you want to be looking in terms of comfort and protection, exactly where it needs to be. So dry away 2.0, Waterproof lining. Yep, yeah, so that's the membrane. So that's giving us 30,000 in okay. terms of breathability, 10,000 in terms of waterproofing. That's how much moisture you can get out from the inside on the 30,000, the 10,000 is how much pressure of water it's going to take. So it's a really high end membrane in this in this jacket as well. So you're going to stay nice and dry and be breathable inside. But obviously, the most breathable thing is to remove that waterproof lining. So I'd say this is a removable waterproof lining. When you take that out, little tip we do get people in stores sometimes saying my jacket's leaking because they've taken the lining out. They haven't realized that that is the waterproof element. So without the lining in this jacket, it is not waterproof. So just to say that is the waterproof element of this product. Yeah, so I treat it, isn't it? But it's the not, outside's treated, doesn't make it waterproof. No, it'll be okay if you're going sort of 10 okay. miles an hour through, yeah. through a town, but any more than that, the pressure is going to push through the exterior material. You need that waterproof lining inside if it's raining. So talking about the inside lining, as I say, really high end membrane. Back to that, you've got an outlast material. So if you've got the outside of the jacket, it says outlast on all our products. And really, really is an important part of any Hav Arsenal's jacket at the higher end is that we use this outlast material on the inside. So why don't you explain to us about um, outlast for houses? Yeah, so as I say, the outlast is very important to Hav Arsenal's. It's, we're sort of synonymous with it. We're one of the first people to use it in motorcycle gear. It was actually developed for NASA uh, to regulate the temperature of the astronauts. Uh, we've used it in motorcycle garments and the reason for that is what it is, is it's, a, it's a, a temperature regulating material. So the problem with motorcycling is that we're constantly changing temperatures. So if you're going down a motorway at 70 miles an hour, behaving yourselves even within inside the speed limit, then you're only getting a good wind chill, but you're dressed for that. So yeah. you're comfortable at that 70 miles an hour. You pull off, you lose that wind chill, which takes you know, 10, 20 degrees off your temperature. You're going to start to get hot pretty quickly in the petrol station. All sweaty. All that yeah. thing, you need a sweaty. You pull away again, that sweat evaporates, you get cold inside, you're moist inside. It's going to be a disaster riding for the rest of the day. What Outlast does is when you pull up, pull across, you get hot, you melt the wax beads that Outlast is made of, thousands of little wax beads. It pulls the temperature out of your body when it turns to liquid, and then it gives it back in when you get the wind chill back. So it's constantly regulating your temperature to keep you at the right temperature. So as we said before, with Mora, it's all about working through a long range of conditions from hot to cold weathers, making sure it works in all those different conditions, taking the liner out when it's really hot. But you can actually leave the liner in this probably up to about 20, 22 degrees, something like that, depending on the person because the outlast is just going to help regulate so your temperature. perfect for the UK then, if our weather can't make its mind up, right? <laughs> exactly right. I mean, we're getting, more, we're getting more and more riders now that are doing more touring, and you know yeah. that's why ADR magazine yeah. is so big. The Africa Twin View guys is a massive seller. Is, the Honda yeah. as well, very popular. You've got the new Transalp as well, I think, coming out soon. So that whole world is so is such a big part of the world now that you need these products that are going to do the right job from here all the way to southern France, Morocco, that sort of condition. We are blokes though, we've got high expectations, I suppose we, we want something to do everything. So you could argue that as, as far as across the board, that's pretty much going to, it's going to keep you warm, it's going to keep dry, it's going to keep you cool. Yep. Worn correctly with the right layers underneath, yep. base says heating, all that sort of thing. It's going to be the nearest you can get something that can go from, you know, zero through to 35, 40. Yeah. You can do that. And that's the best way to do it if you're doing that type of riding. If you're just riding around the rain in the UK, maybe a laminate product like the Groovin or something like that would be a better product to go for. Thanks for that, Ed. So you can buy this on doubledirect.co.uk or of course come see us in the store.